So if there's anything I've come, I, I can claim being close to 100% good at is when I first see God parking a microphone in front of my mouth, I'm way better at asking him what he wants me to do with it. Um, praying into what he wants me to do with this moment. Um, I got I got peppered by a lot of thoughts. I didn't even know if they tied together. They were all great because they're all his, right? Um, I resisted referring to notes until I realized that I might be being a little proud about it. Um, I feel like I'm hearing him better and shooting from the hip better in his glory, but it was like, all right, if you want this to make sense, start mapping it out. So I did. So here we are. Um, in praying into it, I heard a song this week <laughs> while I was working. Um, that I've heard before. And literally driving down the road, okay, God, what do you want me to do on Saturday? It's Monday, what do you want me to do on Saturday? And I hear this song, and it gutted me. I've heard, I've listened to it 20 more times. I kind of see it coming, but it's still there. The chorus says, give me your eyes for just one second. Give me your eyes so I can see. Everything that I keep missing, give me your love for humanity. Give me your arms for the brokenhearted, yeah. the ones that are far beyond my reach. Give me your heart for the ones forgotten. Give me your eyes so I can see. Yeah. So what I settled on for you today was, kind of cap up this year for me, I think most of us, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> You're asking the creator of everything. That's right. Yeah. And be ready when you get it. Yeah. <laughs> A couple months ago, I was thinking about skipping graduation. <laughs> That's for sure. It, it was hard for me to reconcile everything that had already, I mean, we're talking a couple months ago, everything that had already come in that far, like being encapsulated in one day. I didn't want to be the focal point, and I'm not. I'm just the mouthpiece, the vessel. Um, it seemed trite to take nine months of the most growth. The, we're talking high school, college, professional academies, nothing else compares to the spiritual gym that we've been checking into week after week. And, and I really couldn't, I, I, I was pretty candid with Tracy and, and James, I'm like, I need you as an objective sounding board that's not gonna hear this the wrong way, like, I don't wanna be there. And knowing that there was a revivalist election coming up, I had to resolve that before I gave any impression that me being here not had anything to do with that. Ultimately, I decided that me not being here would dishonor my classmates, the staff. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so how do you summarize this year? <laughs> Amongst peers, staff, our families, I have seen the growth for sure and the birth of new apostles prophets, evangelists, preachers, and teachers. It seems to be a running theme that's not a gloom and doom, and there's no way but God that we could be weaving this thread. We've all paid for our yeses and our asks. Some way more than others, but like Rhonda said, we're, we're in the trenches. There's no atheist in foxholes. We're in the trenches together feeling each other's trials. Even if I'm not going through it, I'm, I'm feeling Tracy's. I'm feeling my wife's. And I heard the snippet of a, a sermon recently that talks about beatings and blessings. God doesn't beat his children. Sometimes he tests us, he definitely builds us. Beatings are the lie of the enemy, trying to make us sit down right before the blessing. So as a baby Christian, uh, Ephesians 6 grabbed me. That's like the warrior's call, right? We know that we're, we're familiar with the 6 out of 7. The truth, preparation, righteousness, we're good. <laughs> Salvation, faith, and the word. I stepped into that and I picked sides. I walked out on a battlefield just dragging a sword around. I wasn't a threat to anything. I wasn't much of a defense either. Intermittently good seasons, good days, but no. So then... You read a little bit farther, because you always go a few before and a few after. 
All of those, the belt, the sandals, the breastplate, the helmet, the shield, and the sword, they all share verses with each other, but God gives Paul, sorry, God through Paul, gives three verses, one paragraph to prayer. All that other stuff can just be there. Prayer is the action item that puts it into work. That's right. Amen. <clears throat> My civilian impression of the military is that they strip people down to the studs to rebuild them, dedicated, loyal. One of our, uh, our, our speakers this year taught us the levels of discipline include ang denial, anger, and brokenness. And that godly grief produces a changed mind. This year, I am a wild cult that's been broken. Mm. When I first heard that, uh, I don't know, what, what does that look like? Well, I, I had to get down there with nothing left for him to finally say, you're ready to hear me now. I'm done leaving my God-given authority on a shelf. We are not Sunday morning spectators. We are every day, all night, tears and guts, student warriors. We go, we choose to go to a reading of the Father's will and testament every day to remind ourselves of the inheritance that we don't deserve, but it's ours for the taking. Oh, yeah. See, we need a buzzer. Paul said in Colossians, Whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord Christ who you serve. Know your callings. Ask for the world. Accept no less. Know the cost and be ready joyfully to pay double. How to summarize the year? God has shown us his eyes. Or maybe I was just ready to receive it. I'm still not who I want to be, but thank God I'm not who I used to be. Amen. <laughs> Our Bible reading this year jumped back into the New Testament, ended in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy to Joshua was a graduation of Israel from the wilderness to the promised land. Yeah. That, that piece came in this morning. Yeah. <laughs> today, with graduation, oh, today we graduate. Many of you, along with us, you've been in those trenches with us you've had those hard days with us you've weathered those seasons because we said yes because they said yes but i genuinely hope and believe we're all just getting started Amen.